Hello you guys, this is Colatius of Atius, and for this video, I'm going to be bringing the event, our first shot event here. So, Amazon. Good job, Amazon. Thank you. So, okay. It was 10 past 5. Sitting in the chili park, I looked down at the time of the phone again to confirm I didn't misread the numbers. I turned around to look at every corner in the square. And the person who had made an appointment to meet at 5 o'clock hadn't appeared. Will he stand me up? This is our first shot event. I'm so glad I skipped the other events. I sighed in to press, suppressing the anxiety in my heart, unable to vent. It's been a week since the official announcement, the regulation of evolvers. Beneath the calm surface, the situation has become extremely tense, and even I had to hide my identity of evolver carefully. This translation is amazing. Everyone had forgotten about me. I didn't seem to exist in this world, and I had nowhere to go. With no other choice, I suppressed the hesitation and resistance in my heart and called Shaw, the only person who still remembered me. Hello? What's up? What's up? Uh, hold on. What's up, bro? The moment the call was connected, I heard his clear voice and the noisy rock music in the background. It's me. Speak louder. I can't hear you. It's me. You said I could call you. I couldn't help raising my voice and was almost shouting. Keep your voice down. I'm not deaf. <laughs> oh. From the receiver, I heard the muffled sound of the door being closed. The hustle and bustle in the background disappeared, leaving only his voice with the hint of a smile. I didn't think you'd call me so soon. He saw me through just like that. I lowered my head with embarrassment. Fortunately, he couldn't see my expression now. I wouldn't make this call if I had a choice. I'll send you an address. Meet me there at five. <laughs> but I... I know what you need most right now. Before I could finish, Shaw interrupted me, then gave a reason that I couldn't resist. For example, an identity. Oh, identity? Here in the word, I couldn't help clutching my fingers, and my breathing became rapid. You must have noticed it recently. It's difficult to do anything or go anywhere without an identity. You are now just a ghost that does not exist in this real world. Thank you for that. This... I know, you don't need to remind me. My experiences in the past week reappeared in my mind, having no place to stay, nowhere to go, repeated rejections. I gritted my teeth and controlled my emotions. The identity you mentioned, is it real? You can confirm it yourself. And don't be late. I don't want to be kept waiting. <laughs> So after that call, I arrived at this remote park early. I didn't know whether this guy Shaw was trustworthy or not. Would this meeting be just another joke of his? But his proposal was like a piece of driftwood on the ocean, and I could only reach out desperately to grab it. Is there something holding him up? As time went by, worry joined agitation, distress, and paranoia, which were already in my heart. What? I was startled by the sudden sound. I quickly turned around and saw a tall man on a skateboard coursing towards me. That's Sean. Oh, there he is. Too bad. I bet you that is not animated. <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay. 